I think the universe is absolutely and utterly giving. I've never seen anybody dedicate themselves to something completely and fail. I've never seen somebody eat right, go to the gym every day, train really hard, and not be in good shape. I've literally never seen it. The universe is extremely giving. If you actually try, and you actually want it, and you're actually not making excuses, lying, talking shit, you're gonna get what you want. So when I see people who don't have what they want, I consider them losers. And this may be elitist, I understand that. But if I put myself through endless pain to end up where I am, it's very hard for me to have sympathy on the man who's afraid of pain. You're avoiding pain. I've been through endless. I now have everything I've ever desired. You have none of the things you desire. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Because you took the easy way out? Am I supposed to look at you and go, oh, poor dude? No, you were a coward. You didn't go through the shit I went through. You didn't put it on the line. So you deserve your substandard reality. That's what you deserve, you're a loser. Because if you actually wanted it and you actually tried, you'd have it. You could have anything you want. Universe is super giving. You want a fucking Ferrari, you can have it. You want that bitch, you can have her. You can have anything you want on the planet. There's not a girl I look at that I want that I can't have. Not one. <laughs> That's my reality. There's not a car I can't have. There's not a house I can't buy. If I want to go to a yacht, if I want to go to Antarctica, if I want, there's nothing I can't have. At a, bam. Because I've decided to become this man. It's the same for absolutely every single one of you at home. If you want it, you can have it. If, you, if you're sitting there saying, oh, but I tried my best and I still didn't get it. You're lying. You didn't try your best. That is a fucking lie. The universe gives it to everybody who genuinely tries. And I know that to be a fact because this world's competitive. We're all competing against each other. And the majority of people don't try. Like I've, I've achieved this amazing life and I've tried very, very hard, but it could have been harder. I mean, it's, was it that hard? About 86% hard. It wasn't 100% hard. Why? Because the competition zero. Everyone is a fucking loser. You, it's amazing to me. Everyone's a loser. I can say to somebody, listen, I'll make you a millionaire. Do this. Oh yeah, but you know, the kids are home from school now. <laughs> that, that, that's it. They're done. And then they'll sit and go, oh, I really wish I had some money. You, you are a loser. I will sit here on this podcast. People will listen to me for hours. And I will say, listen, I have hundreds of millions of dollars and I will teach you how to make money. CobraTech.com, I have a school, university designed specifically to teach you how to make money. I clearly know how to make money. You clearly like what I say. You obviously believe I'm intelligent and integral and I won't lie to you. And still, a whole bunch of people will sit there and go, hmm, yeah, anyway, next video. And then they'll say, can't afford a Ferrari and wonder why. Like, they'll be confused in their minds how they didn't end up getting what they want. Because you're a loser. Lo that's why. And, and the majority of people are losers. And this is, goes back to why, when we were saying earlier, how I know the elites view us. Because I'm from a council estate in Luton, a single parent household. And I've only been rich 10 years or so. And I despise losers. So imagine you're a billionaire born into a family, a lineage which has controlled Earth for hundreds of years. Imagine how much they despise us. You think they give a f about putting a bullet in me? You think they're gonna have any sleep at night missed? You think they give a solitary f about you missing your parents' funeral because of the common cold? They don't give a solitary shit. Why would they? Because I already know how I feel when I listen to losers complain. Because this is what happens at a certain level of competence and power. You just get to a point where you're like, I'm tired of hearing your excuses. That's bullshit. And you become to a degree, yeah, cold and psychopathic. It's true. That's what happens. And I get it all the time. I get thousands of emails a day. Everyone I grew up with, people I know, I get it all the time. They'll message me, hey man, you know, just unlucky. You are not unlucky. You are a lazy fucking loser. That's, that's, you are not unlucky. You're breathing. You're lucky. The unlucky ones are gone. You're alive and you are a lazy loser. So a loser is anybody who does not have everything they want at the drop of a hat. That's who I call a loser because I have absolutely everything I could ever possibly desire. And if I wanted something that I couldn't have, I guarantee you, we could speak again in a few months and I have it. I guarantee you, because if I want something and I can't have it, I can't sleep. When I was broke, I couldn't sleep. I don't know how there's broke people out here sleeping just fine at night. Going, oh, you know, inflation's 
Gas prices are six times. Everything on the news is a lie. I never stand a chance of ever getting rich. Where's my pillow? Like, what the, f the fuck is wrong with you people? I, I go to bed at night as a teenager and think, I looked it up on the internet. It was a Honda Civic Type R. I wanted one. It was like 38,000 pounds. I had no money. I had less than 50 pounds on my bank account. Couldn't afford it. Then I looked up how much a Ferrari cost. 210,000 pounds. And I said to Tristan, my cup brother, I was like, there are people with 210,000 pounds for a car. And he's like, yes, so? I'm like, no, no, not so. How? If I worked my job for six years and saved every penny, if I walked to work and didn't eat, I couldn't buy this car. How are people doing this? I couldn't sleep at night when I was broke. I knew that everything was a lie. I knew the matrix was lying to me. I knew I had to find a way out. I was sitting there going, I refuse to live my human years and be some second class citizen peasant when there's people out here who get to do whatever the fuck they want. I, I couldn't tolerate it. And I was so uncomfortable that it gave me the motivation I needed to escape. But the people who go, oh yeah, nice Ferrari, yeah. Back to the TV. Dummies, losers. And the thing about the world is, we need losers. I, I'm not mad at losers. If that's the reality you've chosen to live, you get one spin in this version of life and you decide you want to be a loser, that's fantastic because I like, I need, my cars need cleaning, you know, my hotel room needs cleaning. I have a party with all these beautiful women that's a bit of a mess. Please go pick it up. Somebody needs to do that shit. I ain't gonna do it. If I had to walk into a hotel room and clean up after some other man's party, I guarantee you I'd do whatever it took to become rich so I didn't have to do that shit anymore. But you want to do that for 20 years? Thanks, friend. <laughs> Someone's got to flip the fucking burgers. Someone has to make the fries. I want a happy meal now and again. But I don't feel sorry for you people because you deserve it because it's a decision you made. You made that decision. If you're sitting at home and you say, I don't want to be a loser, you know what to do. I told you I'd escape the matrix. CobraKate.com, you can join, I'll teach you. But if you're gonna sit there and go, nah, maybe this guy with hundreds of millions of dollars is trying to scam me out of 25 pounds. All right, smart ass, have fun at McDonald's. Get f***ed. I have no sympathy for these people, zero.